ladies, I'm just coming to show you a lovely flower. <laughs> um, I love, love, love making flowers along with stick pins. And this is one that I came up with the other day, which is a, a, a lovely, lovely shabby chic um, flower with, with lots and lots of layers. And I made this beautiful stick pin. I'll just take it out and show you because I used a little charm from Emily's shop. If you just look, isn't that pretty? Little Eiffel Tower. Um, so I thought I'd come on and make another and show you how I did this one and then I'm going to um, make it a little bit more um, luxurious. I'm going to have it with really long dangly tails. A friend of mine sent me a flower the other day um, for something and she'd put beautiful, beautiful long tails on it and so I'm going to have a go at... Um, let me just zoom out a little bit. I'm going to have a go at doing one myself. In fact, I'll show you the flower that she sent. Um, I've put it somewhere safe. Where have I put it? I've put it somewhere safe, you know, so I don't lose it. Here it is. And it's absolutely stunning. So this is where I've got my inspiration from. And this is from one of my um, ladies over on Facebook. And she's done loads of lovely layers. I hope she doesn't mind me showing this. I won't say her name because she doesn't want me to. <laughs> uh, loads of lovely layers. Lovely bling centre. But it's this that I'm loving. Um, the beautiful kind of tassel. Luxurious elegantness. It's just beautiful. So this is what um, I'm going to be um, imitating. Um, and I've been directly inspired by this lady's work. So she knows who she is. So yeah, <laughs> um, I'm copying you. <laughs> I am. I'm having a go because I just thought it was stunning. And uh, she sent it to me for a reason, which is for a project that I'm sending to a mutual friend of ours. So all of our flowers are going to go together on this project. So that's why I'm doing it. So I thought I'd do put her one at one side. And then if I made one similar to hers at the other side of this here project, which I can't name because it's a secret, <laughs> then it'd look really pretty. So I'm having a go. So I've already done one circle here um, out of some lovely soft lace. Um, just using a running stitch and I'm starting my second layer here. I'll finish this one for quickness. So I'll just quickly show you most people know how to do a running stitch. I'll just zoom in so you can see. You just get your needle, there we are, and you go into the fabric so your needle comes through the other side and then up and out the other way. And you just keep doing that all the way along as evenly spaced as you can until you get to the end. You'll have seen it time and time and time and time before, but if I'm, I'm just showing you in case you've, you're new and you've not um, seen it done before. Um, and then you pull it and you, well, I get my two ends together first. And then I pull it. Make sure you use nice um, strong thread so it doesn't snap. It's not more frustrating. I've done it myself. You, you pull your flower tight after sewing it and then it snaps and you could cry and then just do yourself a slip stitch or a knot or however you prefer to do it I think, uh, this is like my favorite sewing needles and i think the end's going a bit blunt to be honest i think i need to get myself a new one cut my fingers um and then you just join your ends together however you prefer you can glue it or you can sew it it's up to you Beautiful this lace is. It's embroidered tulle. I absolutely love it. Just had a right little piece left over, so I've claimed it for myself. And I'm just going to knot it at the end so it doesn't come undone. And then where's my scissors? Just snip the end. So then I've got my two. Oh, am I even in shot? No, my heck, I'm miles out of shot. <laughs> Oh, sorry ladies, it's because I zoomed right in, I don't even know if any of that were in shot. Oh, you know how to do a running stitch, come on, I'm sure you do. If anybody doesn't, then um, I'll do another video, <laughs> leave a comment. Right, so I'm going to layer these up, like so. I've got a, a just a vintage doily to start with. So I did want that one on the underneath, but that one's bigger than that one. So I'm going to start with the... The largest lace, just let me remind myself which is the back, I can't always see it join, there it is. <laughs> so 
Let me zoom out a little bit more so that I'm in shot. I'm just adjust my camera slightly. Right, there we go, that's a bit better. So, you put some glue around the centre. And then centralise it in your doiler. Give it a little bit of a press, give it a bit of a fluff. There we go. Just get that glue off of there. When these glue sticks are done for this gun, I'm going to try. Somebody's told me that if you try the um, boss stick glue sticks, then they're not as bad um, for these little rapid point guns because I've not had much luck with them, to be honest. The uh, glue strands are uh, terrible. It drives me mental! <laughs> Right, so then I'm just put some glue on the bottom of my second layer. And to, to make them nice and shabby, it's about layers, layers and layers and layers and fullness and frills and fluff and, you know, luxury and, and um, opulence and uh, 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 as much fuss as possible. Um, there's no uh, right or wrong way though, to be honest. You can interpret a style however you like. So there we go. So that's that. Now, what did I do then on that other one? Oh yes, I had some some lovely dangle lace. Um, I did. I think I'm going to use a jellyfish. I sell loads of these. I call them jellyfishes. I'm that way. I'm that way. And if you stick them in the centre of your flowers, they just they're just beautiful and they, they give a lovely, lovely, lovely tassel. that in the centre and give it a press like so okay I can't seem to get this camera right practice I suppose isn't it like anything else I'll get there in end right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one of these large dollies now I know it's covering up the flower bit of this but I've used this for the tassels not for the flower so I'm not bothered not bothered. Right, I'm going to put some glue in the centre. Like so. I'm just let me tidy this doily up really quickly before my, my glue goes hard. Right, and then I'm just going to put that in the centre. Uh, with the points, this is a pointed one. I've got it so that, you know, um, you can still see the layers of, of, uh, of lace underneath. And if you just push, when your layers get thicker and thicker, just push it in the middle while your glue dries. And it'll, it'll push that centre down and fluff these bits up. And then I'm going to do what I've done here. I've used another flower, lacy flower. And I've, um, I'm going to, I've got some here actually. I'm going to fold them in half. These are about two inches, these. I'm going to fold it in half. And then I'm going to fold it up the middle. And then in half again. Um, I've seen quite a few people do this on YouTube. It's not my idea. And then just pinch it and glue it. And then just go around in a circle like so. so just let me put a little bit in there. And just pinch it. And then a little bit of glue underneath. And I'll put one there. Same again, I'm going to fold it in half, quarter, quarter it over itself, a little bit of glue in there, give it a bit of a pinch so that fluffs up, glue underneath, one there, so that's two, I'm only using four, that's two, so do it again, fold it in half, quarters or thirds, I don't know. Just fold it <laughs> and nip it so it looks like a nice pretty petal. And then glue to the bottom. And one there. So that's three. And again. Uh, do it that way so it's nice and full. So I folded it in half, then I fold that corner up to the middle, and then that's going over itself. You'll have seen it done before. The, loads of ladies have done it. Put glue in the middle. 
pinch it, not teaching you new year. <laughs> I just like making flowers. And then glue on the bottom, swizzle that round, push it into the centre so you've got a nice flouncy fluffy flower. And then I've got these flower centres here. Um, these are from Emily's shop, they're absolutely beautiful. And it's a you've got a little flower, then you've got three pearls, and then you've got a little diamond in the really inexpensive. I'm going to put some glue on there, and I'm going to put that in the in the centre. It's just a little bit different than just a normal, you know, than just a normal round flower centre. It's just a little bit different. Push it and hold. Okay. So that's where we're at so far. Really, really pretty. I think it is anyway. I don't know if that light's a bit bright. Let me turn it the other way. Hold on a minute. Lights, camera, action. Yeah, that's all right. There we go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get... Uh, oh, another thing I wanted to show you. And this was an idea that I came up with. I've used these hearts here. And I've cut some off. And what I've done is I've arranged them at the side like the leaves poking out of a flower. Um, so you could do this with any heart shaped applique or you could get anything and cut it in a heart shape and then what I've done is I have glued uh, do I want it? I want that so I've glued like, I'm going to glue like how many layers under of it? yeah so it wants to go underneath your first layer of lace and to the side and put two together and then one across the middle I'll show you. So I'm putting one there. Another one. And you can get these quite inexpensively. And one there. And this just makes a really like, full, elegant, um, beautiful flower. Because you've got so many layers um, of prettiness and shabbiness and lovely lovely loveliness I don't think you can overdo a shabby chic flower personally um, so long as you're not as long as you can see most of the layers um, I, th I think the more you put on it, just the prettier and bigger and fuller and more luxurious it gets. There you go. See there how you've got your three leaf effect there with those heart shaped pleaks. Okay, I'm still not happy with lighting. Let me see. It just looks a bit bright to me. We'll have to see how it turns out. Right, so now what have I got? Now I'm going to do the tails. So let me get a collection of things I've got pearl beads, I've got um, iridescent beads and I'm just going to get a collection together. Um, I don't want my beads. That... I'll chop it up after. I've got some of this. Lovely trim. Um, put that under there. Uh, what else shall I have? What else shall I have? Some Rick Rack. Cut a limb for that. Let's have a look. This is just plain white. Rick rack, really inexpensive. You can pick it up for next to nothing. Mm. Cut a limb for that. What else do I want? What else do I want? What else do I want? What have I got? Let's have, ooh, let's have some of this. Fibres. Some fibres in it. What else shall we have? Let's have a look. Oh, I've got this uh, kind of bizarre bobbler kind of weird lace. Or some of that. Uh, what else? Uh, I've got some of this that I've had sent from America, which is rickrack, but it's like got a velour um, texture. So we'll have some of that. And then I want some of this. Mm -hmm. Some of that. Uh, what else? 
else? What else? What else? I don't know. I think that's enough, to be honest. Let's get them all together. And then you just get them together. You can arrange them out. If you want to arrange them in a certain way, you can. But I'm just going to clump them together any, anyway, really. I don't think it matters. Just as long as the starting point is the same length at the top because you're going to glue it onto your flower uh, beads and some of this lacy trim here uh, some more beads put that at the other side actually and then I've got some bit of white rip rack and what else? I think, does it need some more? Let's have a look, let's have a look. Hmm, I'll glue those on for now and see what that looks like. And then if I decide I want a bit more uh, fullness, then I'll put some more on. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to put a blob of glue underneath those dangles that I've already got. And I'm just going to push those in. And then if there's anything that's not stuck, I'm just going to go back in and tiny dab of glue, stick it back down. Let's have a look, is everything in? I think that's all in. Now, I think I do want a bit more. Will that go? Yeah, I think I'm going to have that in as well. Put some of that in. Uh, oh, I know what I need. Hold on a minute while I go get some seam binding. Can't go on with seam binding. Which I'm going to glue in at the other side, I think. Glue my seam binding under there. Just use really small dobs of glue. You're not going to end up with a big mass because you're only using a little bit. Now, what else? Ooh, might use some of that or is that a bit bright? Mm, no, I think it's a bit bright that. I think I might leave it like that actually. Hold on a minute, I've got a bit of uh, ribbon. Have I got any nice ribbon? Let's have a look. Let's have a look what's in the box. Uh, oh, that's pretty, isn't it? It doesn't really go, does it? No. No, don't go. No, no, no. What's this one? Oh, I like that. I love some of that, but I might have to cut it down a bit. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's pretty. So I'm just going to... But it's a bit wide, but I like it. So I'm going to cut it in half. Just going to cut it straight down the middle. I hope I'm in shot. <laughs> I hope I can get this video finished before my husband comes through the door because he'll want his tea. Uh, multitasking here. Yeah. Right. And I'll save the rest of that because I'm going to be making a few more flowers in a similar fashion for this for this project. Um, the lady whose flower I'm imitating sent me quite a few in the real press. So uh, let's have a look. I need to make a few more to go with hers. And another lady sent me some as well. Bless her. And they're really pretty as well. And uh, when I've made this secret project that I can't tell you about because it's a secret. <laughs> I'll come on and show you when it's done and then you'll know what I'm on about. Right, I'm happy with the fullness of that. Now, I don't want any more on. I've just used bits and bobs of cheap trims. There's nothing expensive gone on there. Um, I mean, you can go through your scrap bag. Um, but I'm a bit tight with my scrap bag. I like to save them for my um, fabric books. Right, so I've got my lovely long tails here now. Now, it's a little bit too long, so I'm going to trim them. Um, don't worry I'm not going to waste them whatever I don't use I will use on something else um, I'm not going to cut them all the same length 
uh, they're all going to be a little bit different but roughly the same you know we don't want it to look uh, silly so just chop into it I'm just going to tie a knot in under this seam binding and I'm going to fray it there we go right let's move all those bits out the way let's have a look and there we have quite a pretty just a minute where's my tassels gone let me get my tassels out they're stuck there we go we've got ourselves a lovely um shabby chic flower with lovely lovely elegant opulent luxurious tails um give it a go super easy just use your bits and bobs thanks for watching take care and bye for now